Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we are already uh, second week in February. I hope you had an amazing Valentine's week. And for those of you who had someone to celebrate it with you, kudos. I hope it was wonderful and uh, eventful, joyful, sensual, all of that. And for those of you who did not have someone to celebrate it with, I hope you realize you are the biggest Valentine. And if you start taking care of your heart, yourself, you realize there is no one in this life that can love you more than you can. So welcome to Heal Talk Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, uh, this Saturday, February 22nd is my book signing. I will be, uh, I'm so excited. I'm going to be at Barnes and Noble in Burbank doing a book signing from two to four. And if you want more information, you can go to my website, healwithin.com. All the information is there. But why am I bringing that up is because I'm going to be talking about, again, um, about standing up to slimming down. It's not only my book, it's a workbook about weight. There's audio uh, that it's about to drop weight. And I wanted to share a few things. I had a client who came in just end of last week, actually, uh, Friday, uh, the day of Valentine's, and needed to come in as an emergency because she was having panic and anxiety. She gets in here and she is uh, here with her uh, brother and uh, sister-in-law. They brought her in here. You know, after 10 minutes, just 10 minutes of sitting in my wonderful plush recliner, she feels a sense of safety. And as I speak to her and I ask her questions and everything, ah, let's stop this and mute this. There we go. As I begin to question her about what is happening, how is she feeling? How is uh, that anxiety affecting her body? What are the symptoms and slowly 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 she calms down not only my voice helps her calm down but i gave her a technique and a technique for her to ground herself and feel as if she is one with the recliner that no matter what happens that she can just literally drop her weight into the recliner, into the chair, because the chair can hold where her weight. And I said, just imagine if you could just drop your entire anxiety, all the worry, all the tension into the recliner right here, right now, and just lean back, right? Just lean back and just by doing this by giving herself permission to lean back and have her concentrate on her own breath breathing in breathing out that's it i told her just do this with me for two minutes I'm not asking for anything more. Just become one with the recliner and I am sitting right here next to you and you are safe. Just breathe in with me and breathe out with me. So this is what we did. Breathe in and I said, hold four, three, two, one, and exhale. And one more time, nice deep breath. Hold, four, three, two, one, 
and close your eyes and just exhale. And I said, what if you were just to close your eyes for five minutes and just listen to what I am saying? Just become aware of everything that I say so that you can easily and gently give yourself permission to relax and calm down so that we can start finding out what is going on and then we can talk believe it or not that five minute turned into 28 minutes of just pure essence of oneness some may think that she fell asleep, but she did not. Because as she was breathing in and out, easily and gently, sometimes she would open her eyes to make sure everything is fine and then drift back in. You see, she had been so hyper throughout the last few days and having so much panic and anxiety that she had not given herself permission just to be she had not found that place of safety that she can just be herself and let go after 28 minutes we began our dialogue and then the process of questioning going through her intake form and seeing what it is and how this entire thing started and how i can help her within that half an hour, the first initial half an hour of grounding her and for her to feel calm and safe, it was so easy for us to have a profound and easy dialogue because now she realized that she can relax herself. You know, I talk about self-hypnosis at all times. What I do is I teach you how to do this self-hypnosis so that you can delve deeper and calm yourself. And that can be in four minutes, seven minutes, 15 minutes, or you can just give yourself the affirmations and everything. And within three minutes, bring yourself up to fully integrated, relaxed state, and then up to fully awake and aware and feel rejuvenated it's like a mini session so her thing was that she was brought here not for the panic and anxiety but because she had gained so much weight in the last four months right that she had gained over 11 pounds in four months and that's a lot for some people to gain 11 pounds in just four months so we began and my first thing to educate and ask and everything is what's been eating at you lo and behold she's been holding on a lot of guilt so here's one thing i want you to know guilt shame blame and secrets those although it's just a feeling and it's just a thought process but those are negative heavy duty things that weigh on us and we start eating and it starts eating at us and because it's eating at us and it's because it was eating at her and she was holding on to a secret that happened about five six months ago that she could not, she did not know how to reveal it, how to say anything, not to put someone else in jeopardy or in trouble. She had been eating at herself. So she had been drinking a lot. She had been eating a lot, a lot of junk food, and she stopped. Um, she was slacking off. She was depressed and everything else to a point that it created panic and anxiety so the moral of the story is although 
certain feelings that we have they're just feelings they can be burdensome they can weigh upon us and what we do in order for us to handle it we find ways and other means to escape from what truly is happening so that we can cope so whatever she did to gain the weight and become more depressed because by gaining weight she became more depressed and as she became depressed she started uh, feeling depleted unworthy angry and resentful for holding that secret she was holding it for someone else but she took it upon herself and it weighed her down and by the end of our session she felt so much lighter it's not that she gave the secret away but only understanding that how she had been holding on to it she signed up for all package the nine sessions because i truly believe it takes um it takes it didn't happen like this and so it takes many sessions sometimes one session the light bulb goes on but in order for us to peel away layers to feel better stronger healthier it may take more than one or two sessions even though we delve deeper into the subconscious mind so Maybe this was not the only secret she had, but this was the latest one that was weighing her down now. And for that, I must say, by the time she left, her brother was amazed that she walked out of our office with a smile and thanking not only me for helping her calm down, but she hugged her sister-in-law for referring me to come in. So, you know, magic is within us. Magic is within you. All the answers of everything. You know how they say uh, there is three means to a truth. There is um, truth has three layers. It's um, it's what you say what he or she says and what the truth is so sometimes we have to know that there is a bridge there is a, a collaboration in here of what our perception is and what the reality is and sometimes it's a mixture of both so next time when you feel anxious when you feel stressed all you have to do instead of going in a uh this hamsters um going in this cycle of running and running and running like a hamster in that cycle why not just stop for just a second find a place that you can feel safe even if it is for the duration of 10 minutes sitting in your car turning the phone off turning the car off and just silence maybe even roll the window down just this much so that if there's any birds or a wind the sound of birds the sound of wind helps you calm down and for that you're one with nature you're one with your own breath and that's all you need you see Valentine is a heart. It's how we feel. And when we feel good, we want someone who we care for, for them to feel good. So I'm here to help you feel better, to feel better about yourself, to feel better uh, about your body. Standing up, to slim down is for you to stand up, be proud of yourself, look in the mirror and say, 
I can because I matter. So the method I use in all my sessions is evoking what was. It's like plowing. It's digging in there. And sometimes it's right there on the surface, which sometimes when it's right here, we don't see. It's so close, we do not see it. Right? So that's how we evoke. And then we come to embrace, truly embracing our own goodness, your goodness, because this is about you. So that you can evolve to all your heart's desire, all that you want, your goals, your aspirations, your dreams. And always remember one thing, dreams do become reality. So today's message, stand up so you can drop all the things that has been weighing you down and peel away the hurt per if there is any shame if there is any secret you're holding on to if there is any guilt for holding on to the secret or not giving secrets they are negative burdensome and heavy write it down express it in one form or another or just take a shower and allow it to go down the drain, watch it down the drain, or you go somewhere that there is absolutely no one around and you just hmm, howl, scream, whatever, to release it. And for some, go running, go dancing, move your body. As Tony Robbins says, it's not only the affirmations and it's not only doing something, it is incantation. It's doing something while you're moving, right? And that releases endorphins, that releases everything, right? And here's another thing. And lastly, surround yourself with loving people, supporting people, supporting arenas and areas, even your office, make it in a way that you walk in and you go, oh. you see, I have flowers. I have flowers. I either have my beautiful lotus. I have, um, wow. Um, I have the new spring, uh, flowers that I just got and you know when you think about it yellow it helps me my digest because it's about my core yellow brings a smile to my face yellow brightens our day and this beautiful flower reminds me of what spring is coming so it's about time we spring forward as we stand up accept and appreciate ourselves for who we are. I hope today's message was beneficial to you, knowing that you can take time, become one with your breath, count to four, and then exhale, release, let go. Express all that you have been holding on to and surround yourself with beautiful things that brings joy and makes you smile. Again, if you're anywhere in the LA area, I invite you, I would love for you to come to Burbank for my book signing. I am excited. Um, there's so much more happening that it's gonna be happening. And um, we are having a self-hypnosis class this Thursday on the 20th. If you would like, by all means, go to my website, healwithin.com, uh, register, come in. We have only a few more spots left because I just wanted it to be private, like a VIP, but a private small group so that we can not only network, but we can become one with all that we are. And I teach self-hypnosis and it's going to be from six to eight. Okay. And it's, that's going to be at healwithin.com. And lastly, 
enjoy let me see if there's anything oh yes daffodils thank you for reminding me daffodils yes 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 hello sharon how are you you are doing incredible stuff sharon here is one of my colleagues hypnotist that is in the uk and with our master uh the Dr. Butler, they have been doing medical hypnosis, doing surgeries with no anesthesia, but, uh, but hypnosis and hypnotherapy, deep, profound hypnosis. Yes, we can numb our nerves. We can numb a lot of things and feel and in, embed in our mind and in body that everything Every nerve and every muscle, every organ, every tissue, every essence. It can be numbed, relaxed to a point that they don't feel anything throughout the entire surgery until the surgery is done and they come to full conscious awakeness. You see, I do the same thing with my gums numb them for root canal surgery but here not here but in uk they are doing phenomenal work nowadays working with the surgeons and using hypnosis only instead of anesthesia so kudos to you and for everyone who was part of today's session thank you for being here god bless and may the universal light be with you. This is Lisa. Bye-bye.